Welcome back to this afternoon to the program here on MMA Odds Breaker. He's actually in New Jersey at the hotel. So if it cuts in and out a little bit, it's because he's at a bad service area. Um, I have, coming from New York, I have a multitude of jokes of the reason why uh, the, the Wi-Fi doesn't work in Newark. Um, but um, I'll leave that for another time. Uh, you were just in Europe training, right? I mean, we had a hard time connecting with each other because we kept missing each other's texts because the time zone changes. Are you experiencing any jet lag coming back to the States? No, no, no. Everything is good. Uh, it wasn't too bad of a jet lag, so everything is good. Where were you training in, in Europe? No, basically I was in Europe for a few days uh, taking care of some um, some visa issue and, uh, and passport. But all my camp, I, I spent it in, uh, in Montreal at TriStar. Okay, so really you just were going over there right about the right time to kind of take a break from training camp. So is that time you're supposed to be winding down anyway too? Is that correct? Yeah, kind of, but uh, I kind of had to go. kind of had to go to Europe for, uh, to take care of all the paperwork. Um, so, but at the same time, it was a good break, but I was still training. Okay, so how was, how was the training then before you left up in Montreal at TriStar? Well, I spent almost two months, a little over two months over there. It was awesome. Uh, I needed a change in my training, in my, uh, my approach of training, my methods, the trainer, training partner. I needed a complete 360 degrees uh, change in. And, um, and so training over there with all the guys, the trainers, uh, it, was, it was awesome. Awesome camp. But why TriStar? You could have gone anywhere. You could have trained and you could have jumped to anybody. Right now, I mean, even uh, BJ Penn, who's coming out of retirement, jumped down to Greg Jackson's. I mean, there, there's a multitude of places that you could have gone. Why did you choose TriStar? Well, you know, there was something that attracted me over there. Um, there a lot of, uh, you know, guys my size. And uh, I think, I don't know, I followed Firas for a while uh, as far as the way he trains, the way he think. And it's always something that kind of attracted me. And so um, so I went there and just tried it out for a couple of weeks, and I really liked it. So I said, okay, that's uh, – and myself, I just need a change. And so I said, okay, let's go for it. You know, I had a good feeling, and I went for it. What other places did you try to train at before you finally settled on TriStar? Well, um, obviously, you know, I've, I've been uh, Team Quest for eight years, and uh, – you know, there was no bad blood or anything that, you know, got me to, to, to change. Nothing happened, uh, nothing bad to say about Team Quest, but good things. Um, I trained at different places, like uh, I went to Alliance, great camp also. Uh, I trained there a little bit. Uh, uh, I went to the K also, I trained there uh, quite a few times. I really like, you know, everybody over there. Um, and, you know, California, that's basically it. Uh, and I train also a different uh, like Jiu Jitsu gym, um, like Lucas Latest, Leo Vieira, guys from Checkmat, um, really great uh, Jiu Jitsu. So, okay. And then, yeah. So let's talk about Jake Ellenberger. Both you guys are coming off losses, um, but he's had a lot more up and down. He had like a three fight losing streak. He beats Koscheck, and then he loses the, to Wonderboy Stephen Thompson. You just lost to Roy McDonald, who was in, you know, a, a tremendous battle just a little bit ago himself. Um, what, you know, how was the process getting a hold of Jake? Was it like, hey, we want you to fight Jake Ellenberger, and you just said yes? Or was there a couple of names, and Jake's the name that you chose? No, it was, uh, you know, uh, how do you, yeah, it was uh, the true uh, Jake and me. Uh, and I said, okay, let's do it. You know, we were supposed to fight twice already. Uh, in the past, and so I say, okay, third is a charm, so let's hope it, it, it happens this time, you know? It, well, it seems like it will. Both you guys are in New Jersey now, so just making wait, really, is yeah. all, all it takes. Um, so, so good. He, he Jake has done a lot changing his, his training camps. He's changed his uh, nutritionist, his strength coach. He's got a different boxing coach. Like He's completely revamped his training regime, just like you've revamped yours. Um, have you seen much of a difference in him what, over his last three fights as you watch him fight? Well, you know, it's, um, oh, it's a good question. Well, he, he's changed, but at the same time, he's, um, he's still the, kind of the same uh, as far as uh, 
his boxing his boxing has changed a lot but he used to be more of a brawler but uh, his last few fights he seems more like he wanted to be more technical he still has a good right hand for as far as a counter puncher uh, you know Jake is a dangerous fighter uh, even though he lost his last three fights uh, I'm not taking him lightly he's a still dangerous fighter uh, but I trained him super hard and I'm just gonna focus on myself you know focus on what I improve in, during this camp because I improve a lot. I change a lot of my game too. And so um, so I can't wait to show it Saturday. Did you, you didn't move from California all the way to Montreal. Like you didn't move your whole family to Montreal. You're just up there for training camp. So when was the last time you saw your wife and kids? Well, let's say it again, sorry. When was, the, when was the last time you saw your wife and kids? Uh, almost three months ago, man. You, no, yeah, I mean, nice. obviously FaceTime and Skype and, and you're talking to yeah, them every yeah. day. But you haven't had physical contact with your family in almost three months. Um, are they are they coming to New Jersey to watch the fight? My wife is, but not my kids. Okay, yeah, the kids are still too young to come to the fights, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, too young. Yeah. So when does your when does your wife get in town? Uh, actually, tonight. Okay, well, it's Thursday night. We're doing this interview on Thursday. It'll be Thursday night. Uh, you make weight Friday. You fight Saturday. You haven't seen your wife in three months. <laughs> No, no, no <laughs> it's been a, it's been a, a thing since the '60s. You know, sex before a fight, no sex before a fight. I'm, yeah. I'm pro sex before a fight. It doesn't affect your ability or not to, to compete. Some people are like, no, absolutely not, none. Um, yeah. let, let's be honest. It, it's been three months. Like you're gonna, you know, there's you don't even want it to happen. It's something's gonna happen. So what? Uh, what's your take on that? And you don't have to get don't get crazy details. We don't need any of that, but. Is it is it one of those situations where you're like it's okay it doesn't bother you one way or not to, to be intimate with your wife before a fight? Well, it's a good question. Um, you know because I've done both. I've done you know trying to trying to stay away from uh, you know from from it before the fight, uh, and I've done it you know, the night before the fight. So it's uh, I've done it both, and they both work good good for me. I've done good performance uh, doing it and not doing it. So um, I think it's all... I, I wouldn't do it the day of the fight. That's something I haven't tried. I don't think I'm going to do it. But uh, night before, I don't think it's... Uh, for me, it worked well. You know, so uh, it's, it's a big, big, huge effect, like people think. It's more, it's more in, in there you know, than anything else. Exactly. Yeah, I believe so, too. Yeah. So, well, Tarek, thanks for coming on here. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut this short just because of uh, the connection problems we're having. Um, and I know you got to start getting ready to, to work out tonight and then go make weight for tomorrow. So um, I appreciate you coming on here and taking a few minutes. Good luck. Uh, this is going to be a great fight. I can't wait to watch it. Have fun. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Frank.